Hi channel, it's Amber here. I have had a really incredibly powerful day and evening connecting into spirit and things are really becoming more, I feel more coherent in these intuitive abilities that I'm able to grasp them more. They're coming through with more um, detail and I'm more lucid in these moments to be able to grab that detail out of my mind's eye, pull it back and say, this is what this looks like. That's becoming more fluid. Yesterday um, night I asked for some advancements on my journey because I do see these contrasts in my life that I have for growth. You know, the things that um, make us feel uncomfortable sometimes. It's because we're supposed to get over this perception, how we see it. This thing that is making you uncomfortable and how you see it from your one direction um, in resistance, which doesn't serve you. It's almost like you have to catalyze the whole effort and um, situation that you're going through that you are resisting or, um, you know, alchemize that in order to move through it. You would think that you have to push it away more and more and more until it's finally out of your life, but finding that you just have to keep continuously vocalizing your authenticity and your motivations and loving it and loving it more and more until it's in a, a state of like at least median understanding. Um, that's how I've been feeling lately. And getting around people, I'm definitely picking up on things that they're going through. Like, I was cleaning a friend's house and all of a sudden, like, a cavern or a cave came to mind. And I kind of felt like it was directed to her. So, I was like, um, are you having dreams about caves or caverns? And she's like, no, I'm actually reading this book about this, like, cavern in Montana where like these she she said like ascended masters would pop in and out of these caves and people would end up seeing like interdimensional beings in this kind of like inner earth space in montana well i just got this crazy ring in my ear um and um you know just interesting how it flows through like all of a sudden i just see a cavern and i'm like trust it and say it or but then I was able after that I was like well I kind of feel like it's connected to that you might have like a like a timeline or a life either parallel or past in which you were an inner earth being and that's why I felt this like connection to the to the cavern or the cave um, really interesting Life's been so interesting. I feel like for a period of time, a, a good chunk of time too. Oh my God, my cat's staring at me like crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> um, for a good chunk of time, like there was this integration process where and I feel like I just got out of it too, like I'm on the tip of this, but where I was like in this perception of um, who Amber was and who Amber like is becoming and slowly have been more and more confident in my becoming, putting myself out there, um, you know, saying weird things to people I don't know, whatever, and like getting enough perspective on who I am and what I see myself as now has kind of solidified this integration process for me. And um, I was going through a rough time last night, but um, at a higher point in the evening, I just like full on spoke from my higher self. Like all these divine truths spilled out about 
why I have been the way I have been in my life, like what it means to me now and what it's going to mean in the future. And like me saying this in complete full confidence and faith that this is going to happen because I feel it. And I've felt it for a long bit, for since awakening, I've felt this energy with me. Like I've had visions of talking to a lot of people. Um, I've had visions of orbs coming out of my chest in which, yeah, they're, it's happening on this like, but people being able to see them and being like, whoa, at some point. And um, like since the beginning, I actually didn't even have an explanation for that. I was like, I'm daydreaming about abilities, but I think I was just having a premonition about things that might, or like what really feels like what will take place for me. My higher self can feel this um, more intimately and uh, deeply than like what I did define myself as before. Now I feel very fierce in my mission and I'm, I'm open to the things that probably would have terrified me before. Like I'm opening, open to like fulfilling this purpose in whatever way that looks like. And, um, wow. Yeah, it's been, wow, it's been such a crazy wild ride. Like, bewilderment, best word that I could use for past eight months. <laughs> but I just want to lead, I want to continue to lead from that higher self, and I want to be fierce and confident and talk out loud and um, if something came to my mind I want to say it even if it came from my intuition like I don't want to be that person anymore that like holds their intuitive gifts back I feel like I've been that person my whole life and I've like put it in a box and it was always for me whenever I wanted and I kept it in that box for a long time until I just couldn't anymore. And that I feel like that there is just like a divine purpose for me. I feel very renewed in that sense that I was created for a very special reason, you know, like we all are. But uh, there's a lot of responsibility behind mine, a lot of like beings standing behind me and making sure that all goes through. And like right now they're kind of in my mind standing behind me and just smiling and nodding and saying, you'll remember, <laughs> you'll remember. And it all makes sense. I must have held some sort of like powerful position as a light being. I think once you get to a certain density um, and frequency, being in a like a light be light form to choose that form. I mean, I kind of see it almost as. Like you had to spend a lot of lives getting to that higher dimensional state where you just were it and then decided to live out the same destiny over and over. I'm not sure, but that does resonate pretty hard. Um, yeah, I've always felt like I've kind of been, always knew that I, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, I always felt when I was younger that I, I knew that there was something special for me and not in this like daydreamer kind of way. I mean, I am a dreamer, but I'm also like, uh, you know, this stayed with me for so long 
and it was like a voice in my heart head that would come in and out that kind of, I knew that there was like something special for me and I, and, and I would know when the time was right. Um, so having that message and like getting out of high school as a young adult, I was like, all right, let's go into college, you know, did some basics and, uh, took a yoga class and some art history and, um, took a student development class. And at that point I was like, I don't know what I'm made for, but it doesn't feel like it's here at all. And so I withdrew from college and my classes and, um, like, I haven't gone to school since, and I've kind of tried to get back into it, but then again, just didn't feel like it was in resonance. Like, there was some, something that I was supposed to be open and available for, like, I'm about to catch something, you know, or about to come upon something. So I've always kind of just tried to listen to my intuition and my heart. And um, in my story, it turns out through my hardships um, and some tough trauma is really what sparked my awakening experience. It was through fear um, and trauma and heartbreak. And I just um, decided I was gonna build myself from that moment in that moment when it felt like everything was coming down on me, there was a moment where I went outside and um, I made this um, kind of conscious contact with what I think was a starship. And I looked up and it was evening. Still not all the stars were out. They were just kind of poking up. And this one was a little low lying right below the clouds. So I looked up and I thanked it and um, I said, I know what you're here for and I thank you. Um, and I went in the house and I began to feel a presence with me. I wrote down some affirmations and the affirmations were kind of out there. Um, it went along with the same theme, you know, we're not alone, I know we're not alone, and um, that this is the time, and that angels are here for us now, guides are here for us now, and they come in these starship forms and have many other forms, and you know, that I was a finely tuned instrument. <laughs> Um, and then I would know what to do when the moment was right in front of me. Um, anyways, I had this list and uh, I read it out loud three times and then I, um, it felt really good, like so good. It felt like my truth. Now I know it is. Like, now I really know. That was my truth. And I just had this intuitive, creative moment where I was able to just like, in a moment of trauma, just let it all out on paper and there it was, you know? And now looking back, like, just a lot more stuff makes sense. <laughs> um, and that is when they made their contact experience with me when I was meditating. They wanted to pull me out of my body. They decided to come into my mind's eye and swoop me out. And I got scared and I came back and then decided that's what I wanted. So I laid my head back and breathed in three, th three times and they took me again, but for two hours. And I just never felt that kind of bliss in my life. I was like suspended in this golden bath of infinite love and comfort and I didn't need any words 
I didn't need any explanations. I was just whole. Like the kind of whole that humans don't know. <laughs> that we will know soon. But haven't known for so long. Um, well, what pulled me out of that state was it had been two hours, but in time density, the way that I felt it, it was like 15 minutes. Um, my partner had come home, opened the front door, I looked over, and when I looked over, I was like, oh, he's home, and had that like very clear, he's home thought. And then I looked down at my body, and that was my next thought, I am out of my body. So I like dunked back in my body and um before I could because there is like some time there's a density block I, I suppose to getting back in your body um while being a light vehicle um and this voice came in that was communicating with me and it said I am you and you are me we are one and I shot back into my body and like curled my body forward, gasping for air and looked up at him and in complete shock was just like, I was just out of my body. Um, and he was like, okay, yeah, you seemed a little shocked. <laughs> um, I was in disbelief for the rest of the evening and the next day, I didn't feel alone. I mean, I've never really felt alone, but there was definitely another piece of myself talking to me, giving me like some visions and a rundown of why things were, how they are and how they will be. Um, nothing too constrained as far as the future, but definitely that there was a purpose and there was a mission and that I was to be an example. And that's always another word that's come to me a lot through my writing and my journals and that I was gonna be an example. I don't know. Um, but that comes through really intense now, the whole, you're going to be an example. I think there's a whole, uh, sector of people, sector, I don't know. It's a group, whole group of people that are star seeds and know what they're here for. And they are all going to be examples and we're all going to be examples together. Um, for the more general, general population will be like a group of miracles all happening at once. And it would be undeniable. And like that wave starting now, like the seeds have been planted and you know, um, the seedlings are uh, kind of starting to peek out of the ground. And um, and things are about to be really um, beautiful. In a lot of ways for a lot of people and then some of them will go through densities continue to go through them until the their dualistic nature is finally um, sanded down into the perspective of just the one and uh, all the parts that make the whole they're just all the same same thing um, different form. So, um, so I guess where I am now is I'm feeling like my higher self has taken my hand even more so, um, and is really saying, trust me now. And so I'm kind of totally following on my intuitive impulses at this time in my life. Um, completely trusting that she knows exactly where I need to be. Um, and I don't
don't have to worry about her intentions because she's my highest self. She is me. She wants the best for me, of course. If it was something outside of me, I would wonder if that was their best intentions, but since it is me, like, of course, and the way that she treats and comforts me is like a mother would her daughter. Um, so I know, like, she wants the best possible outcome for everything that's going on with me. And, um, and she sees it too in this more, um, like, she's like, oh, you're fucking important, but like, the whole. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I get it. Like, I'm here for the whole pie. That's what this, um, this journey is about right now. In this, in, in this lifetime. It's all about just, uh, the whole pie. The whole thing. All the slices, um, that make it, like, can be different flavors. But it's all created of the same matter. So it's, um just how we perceive it, that even um, projects any type of um, positive or negative charge on it. I'm totally doing a pie analogy right now. Um, that's when you know the video needs to end. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not even worried about it because I know like only four or five people are going to watch this, so holler four or five people what's up um i'm gonna end this i guess by saying i am so wickedly blessed to um like have the beautiful social memory complex that i do i must have been something incredible um apparently i am something incredible And um, I'm feeling really thankful and loving towards, like, the process that everyone's going through. Like, yeah, I know it's muddy waters for a lot of people right now. You gotta trust these due processes that we go through and just know that the soul is infinite and that the veil is thin. And, um... You're never going to lose the people that you love, and you're never going to miss out. Everything that's right in front of you is, like, so fucking divinely meant for you. And how beautiful is that? And free will and choice and magnetism and um, the heart wavelength of love and light is so transformational. And I hope that everyone's cells are imbibing this glorious, like, magnitude of miraculous events going down right now. Life is truly beautiful, and I don't even know who I am anymore, but I'm okay with that. And, uh, <laughs> yep, we're just so blessed beyond what we can, I can, I don't have words for. Like, this is the lifetime. It feels like it so positively game time for all the spiritualists and um, beautiful star seeds of this earth and we have so many amazing souls on our side that are seeing this through. This is totally a team effort. So beautiful. Right when you think the world is totally fucked, it's amazing. So I couldn't be happier. <laughs> um, thank you. And have a lovely evening.